back to my channel. So today I have a new look featuring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And you guys will see my review on it at the end of the video. If you guys want to skip just right to the end, then you guys can go there. But like, do I watch the whole video? Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely something out of my comfort zone. I've never done something like this before. So if there's any mistakes, please, 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 please forgive me. Okay, like forgive me. <laughs> this one, like, I screwed it up. So annoying. Okay, this is my first time trying something new and I really enjoyed it, honestly. So, yeah, if you guys want to know how I got this look, then just please keep on watching. So, as you guys can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be featuring the very, very well known slash um, controversial palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I saw this comment and I went crazy laughing at it. It said, um, I've seen all the negative reviews on this palette, yet see, still watch me drop $70 on it. And I'm like, if that is not me, I don't know what it is. Okay? I think I got the good batch from what I see because my, my friend uh, tried it already and she bought the same time as me and she said she loved it and she was like, am I the only one who likes it? <laughs> so, Today I'm gonna give it a go and then I'll let her know. But I think I. Do you see that? Oh my god! <laughs> Since I wanna do it on camera so that you guys can see like my actual like review on this, I'm just gonna do one eye first and then after I'll do the other eye in another video. What? In another video off camera this I meant. So my eye primer I'm gonna use the Mac Painterly Paint Pot. I kept on D shade and light palette and just use whatever. I'm gonna use a yellow. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna use this one. Cause yeah, I'm just going to. Now I'm gonna go into my subculture palette. I'm just gonna first start with the shade Dawn, like that shade. Okay, I'm gonna do it on camera so you guys can see it. Okay, there's a bit of powder kick up, but. I feel like it's honestly the same as my Modern Renaissance. My my Modern Renaissance had a crazy amount of kick up as well, so I don't know why everyone's like, oh my god, so much powder. <coughs> oh, shit. No, that's what you get for being a bitch, yeah. That's what you get. From what I know from all the other makeup artists who have used this, they say a little goes a long way. And not a lot of eyeshadows are like that. A lot of eyeshadows are like, put more and then you blend. You know, but this one is really little and then you start blending. So, I took a little bit and then I tap off the excess. I'm gonna go into my crease. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so pigmented. Dude, there's like nothing on my brush okay just now. Oh my god. That's so pigmented. That's crazy. And then I'm gonna go into um, I don't know. New Wave? Yeah. I'm just gonna go into New Wave right here. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's a lot of eyeshadow. <laughs> that hard to blend. I'm really going to uh, wing it out because of the look that I'm planning to do. And then I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease. I'm going to go in with the shade All Star, which is here. There was like barely any powder kick up, honestly. I'm going to tap off all the excess because mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not about to ruin this eye look. Have you guys watched Kathleen's video on this uh, palette? She was saying how she didn't enjoy the shade All Star because it's not like what the colors, like not what it is on the pen. Okay, hold on, wait. I'm having a hard time blending this out. Oh no. Please don't. 
do this to me. You are 70 goddamn dollars. Oh my god, why is it blending so weirdly? Okay, 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 no, no, it's coming together, it's coming together, hold on. And I'm gonna go in back to the shade New Wave, which is this one, and just start blending that out. Whoa! But it's so pigmented. Like cheap. Three trees away by La Petite Eye Blender. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Fudge right here to apply that on the other corners as well. I just wanna darken it up. Oh, this brush cannot use to put on. This brush is stiff, like it's so stiff. Oh my god, does this have black shadow? This eye looks turning out to be worse and worse and worse. Like why? Can you see that black? That was because I had black eyeshadow on that brush. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm so annoyed. Black is just like there. And it's just stuck there. It doesn't even move. You know, seriously, this eyeshadow looks really weird. Okay, so as you guys saw just now, I had to remove the whole entire um, makeup look. Sorry, the whole entire eye look basically because of um, that black eyeshadow from this goddamn brush. Stupid brush, okay? And I thought, oh my god, is it the freaking eyeshadow palette that cannot blend? And I was so scared. So I decided to remove this whole entire side and do this side off camera. It has nothing to do with the eyeshadow palette. It has to do with that black eyeshadow. Okay, it just created this like weird streak on my eye, which is like... It's damn weird lah, okay? It looks damn weird, I don't know why. But I can blend it really nicely and I don't... I don't see it... Like... I don't see it being a problem. Huh? with the shade Dawn. Right? Dawn's uh, eyeshadow kick up is out of this fucking world. I'm just gonna blend that onto my crease. That's what I did before. I'm not gonna talk at this part because um, you guys practically already know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna speed through this with music at the background so you guys can let. My MAC Studio Finish Concealer and then just carve out my crease like how I did this eye and for that I'm going to use this brush because this brush is like super stiff which makes it really easy to carve out that crease but because it's super stiff that when it comes to time to blend it hurts my eye so I have to change my concealer brush but just know I'm still using a concealer brush no matter what in with fudge again and then I'm just gonna put it on the place I apply the concealer I know you guys are gonna be like what the hell are you doing because you need to blend it it cannot be like harsh you know you don't need to be harsh you cannot suddenly concealer them dark brown you must blend The shade Adorn, which has beautiful, beautiful coppery like bronze eyeshadow. <laughs> Obviously, it's me, right? When am I not basic? When?
I'm just gonna use my fingers first because I believe that with the finger is gonna definitely look a hundred times nicer. Oh my god, that's like metallic suck. Wow, I love it. into the shade fudge to make sure I can blend the gold and the dark brown together because we don't want like a psycho disgusting mesh in between and go in back to this brush and just go into the shade mm, edge maybe I don't know <laughs> I just need how use colors okay I'm not even know I don't even know what I'm doing honestly just gonna go back into the shade new wave to warm up the look a little bit more because it's starting to really darken up. For face primer, I'm going to use the Australia's Mattifying Face Base Matte Out Mattifying Face Base. You guys know I always use this. I'm gonna mix this two. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Sorry, this is L'Oreal Pro Matte, and then this is the L'Oreal True Match. You see me on Instagram story. You guys know that I have been breaking out really badly this past few months. I could, I would say. And the main reason was apparently when I went to my skin doctor um, yesterday He would think like it was probably because of a lot of stress and because I have gastric uh, By the way, I'm using the Garnier BB Eye Roll-On Use this, although I've never used this before But like I'm too lazy to like um, wash my beauty blender so <laughs> I'm gonna do this So anyways, uh, he was saying like uh, I, I told him maybe it's camera died. But anyways, as I was saying. Uh, so yeah, I was asking him like, oh, why is my stomach so painful every time after I eat? It's like not, it's like not normal. Is it because I have indigestion? Because I was reading up and they were saying that it's usually indigestion if you always have stomach pain after you finish eating. And then he was like, oh, uh, no, you don't have indigestion. You have gastric. And I was like, I thought gastric is when you don't eat. He's like, yeah, but gastric can also come is can also come after you eat, especially if it, if you have high acid high acid content in your stomach which I do have cover up my pimples and all that disgusting things that's on my face I'm gonna use my Max Studio Finish Concealer with my cream shader 233 My Zoeva uh, Luxe Powder Finish and go with the yellow banana shade. I'm just applying that underneath my eye. Go back into the Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I'm just going to Tarik. Let's see what brush. Okay, I'm gonna take the Zoeva 127 Lux Sheer Cheek. Um, I'm gonna use this to bronze up my skin. Go to the center one. Okay, so yeah, it takes me really long to edit my videos, so therefore I don't like it. But I love filming. Like, I can film for hours. I'm, I'm fine. I love it. But the moment I need to edit, I mean, I'm just like... Mm. That's why I procrastinate so much when it comes to editing. Which is why I can never get my videos up, videos up on time. And then for blush, I'm using my Essence Silky Touch Blush in Autumn Peach. I'm really into peachy um, blushes lately. I don't know why. But like, I'm really, really into them. I'm using the um, Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish. Highlight 
this is a new a new thing to me but obviously it's not a new thing to the makeup world this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero kit I have been trying to find this for months finally I got a seller who sold it but it was so king expensive but I hope it's worth it I'm not gonna put on any liquid highlighter underneath because I really want to see how this works I'm gonna take the shade Glow Getter and 143 I'm gonna mix no actually you know what Forever Young and Glow Getter okay I'm just gonna Whoa! Whoa! Okay, guys, this is like no liquid highlighter underneath. What the hell? This is so blinding. I like. Okay, so this is what I came up with. A bit more dramatic and colourful than I expected it to be but I like the way it came out so I'm good with it. I'm gonna first take my NYX Vivid Bright um, Eyeliner. This is in Vivid Halo and it's already starting to crack a bit but it's not that bad because I, I just put it on anyways because my hands tend to shake like a piach. So yeah, I'm going to have to like do this. Uh. So you guys are just gonna have to see it because I I cannot talk while doing this. My hands are already shaking as a psycho bitch, so I need to like calm down. Um I'm just gonna go in with the same shadow brush and then go back to that shade Adorn. Adorn! And just apply it back onto the place where you did the yellow eyeliner and mess up. And I'm gonna put on my falsies. I'm using the Creative Soul Cosmetics uh, Poetic Lashes. And then going back to the Subculture Palette, I'm gonna take the shade Ro Rowdy. Sorry, I'm gonna take the shade Rowdy, which is uh, honestly this eyeshadow is pretty much redundant but because I did it on this eye I must do it on this eye as well you know what I mean? I'm going to line my lower lash line go in with my BH Cosmetics take me back to Brazil palette I'm gonna take this dark purple this dark purple shade right here and put it right on top of the shade round going back into that same um, 227 two, 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 soft definer I'm gonna go into this shade and then I'm just gonna start blending that out I'm taking my highlighting brush. I'm going to take the shade Forever Young. Just the center shade right here. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back into the Subculture palette and go in with the shade Cube, which is the um, multi dimensional duo chrome. Duo chrome eyeshadow, correct? Using the Fasatini mascara. So this is a completed eye look. We're left with the lips. Oh my god, even my lashes look weird. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it when I do something and then I mess it up halfway. It's like... The lips, I'm going to use Kylie's Court K. I finally have it in my heart. Alright, so this is the completed look. I personally love this look. I did mess up on this eye. I'm not happy about it, but it's okay. It's just makeup. And we all make mistakes in life. And this is my first time just trying to do something cool and different. And I've never done this kind of things before. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And also like subscribe, obviously. Because let's join the fan bam. I want to get at least... I want to get at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I know that it sounds so ridiculous and like... That's so much, you have so little now, like you can dream on lah, but like, we can try right, we can try right. 
uh, yeah, if you guys want to end this video, you can end this video right now. But if you guys want to hear my review on the Subculture Palette, then you can listen up. Okay, so my review on the Subculture Palette, I actually really like it. I mean, some of the shades are not that easy to blend. Like, for example, All Star and Fudge. It was quite difficult for me to blend. I had to take like probably three to five minutes per blending session, which is like a bit too much. But it's okay, I still think it's good. I think the pigmentation is out of this world. Like, do you see I'm gonna have to stop myself because I was just like, oh my god, it's so pigmented. Oh my god, oh my god. A person who is beginner in makeup, probably I would not recommend the subculture palette because one is really pigmented, two, you have to really take your time to blend it. Even after I blend it so many times, I still feel like my blend the blendability was not there and it felt very mm, but because I know that it's on camera that's why it looks like that in real life I, I'm telling you it looks fine but I don't know why but on camera it looks really bad so yeah um, would I recommend this? I would not recommend this to the average girl who wants to use this on an everyday basis to go to work or something and like quick click chop chop done like no I don't recommend this but I recommend this to makeup artists who wants to venture with colours and this colours they are really beautiful colours and I feel like as makeup artists we want to venture out to more colours and this is a really pigmented eyeshadows and you have to use little by little I know that is the rule of thumb every single time we do eyeshadow or any makeup in general is um, do little by little but this one is like really little by little like you did like let's say you did the eyeshadow just like that right and then you still then you put it in your crease because these eyeshadows are out as well as I said the pigmentation but yeah that is my complete review on this palette you guys know the drill like subscribe share follow me on my social medias so yeah the link down below I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys on my next video bye